What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. Today, we're going to be talking about nine signs she doesn't like you. I've covered a lot of videos on how to know if a girl likes you. This time, we're going to cover the opposite one and how to know if she doesn't like you. If you're getting these things consistently from a girl that you like, you should probably find someone who won't be giving these things to you, okay? Now, I know me in my own life, I only go after people who want to hang out with me and want to spend time with me. So if you're not getting these, it probably means that she'd rather be spending time with other people, and so should you. Remember, if you're not her first choice, why would you want to be her choice at all? All right, so let's start with the first one, which is she's not responding or she's ignoring your text messages, okay? This is the most common way in today's day and age because we use technology a lot, um, but it goes without saying, if she's not responding to you, you should probably find somebody who will respond to you, okay? She's probably seen your message. She knows that you've been texting her. She just hasn't responded. Now, sometimes guys will be texting a girl and then after an hour, they think they're getting ignored. Just wait a little bit. Be patient. Not everybody texts immediately. So if you've waited a little bit of time and you texted her twice and she's still not responding to you, you got to move on and find somebody who will. Two, she's blocked, unfriended, or you know, even sometimes unfollowed you. Now, if you've been dating and this happens, okay, it just means that she's angry at you or something like that. In either case, you should leave her alone. I think it goes without saying if somebody blocks you, they've clearly indicated that they don't want to talk to you or hang out with you. So if that's the case, even if you know she's just pissed at you or maybe you've had some history, you still got to give her some space and leave her alone. Now, if she's blocked you and if you've been pursuing her and there's been no romantic interest thus far, do leave her alone. I get messages from guys where they ask me, hey Lloyd, this girl showed no interest and she blocked me. What can I do to change this around? You don't, you move on and talk to somebody else. Number three, she won't hang out in person. This is something that I look for pretty much like right off, not right off the bat, but like this is one of the number one things that I'm looking for when I'm texting a girl. Okay, if we're texting and I can't get her to hang out with me in person, I'm gonna find somebody else. Like I'm an adult, I have you know priorities, I got a busy schedule, I'm not gonna wait around for somebody to hang out with me. Now I'm gonna say this, for most women, you need to talk to them for a little bit and like help them get to get comfortable with you a little bit over text or a little bit over the phone or whatever, um, especially if it's from a dating app. If you immediately go into the meetup, you know, some people might be down, but a lot of them might not be that comfortable yet. So give them some time, but if you've given them time, you've asked them out twice and they still won't go out with you, you gotta find somebody who will, okay? Two strike rule applies for this. Four, she only messages you if she needs something. So this is the kind of girl where, um, you know, she is texting you all the time and you know, you're looking for a woman who wants to give you attention, who wants to give you like affection and she likes you, but she only wants to hang out with you when she needs you to like, I don't know, come in and fix something or come in and take her to the airport or you know, she needs like someone to accompany her to the club or something like that and then she kind of leaves you and goes off with her friends or something like that. She's using you, she only uses you when, when she needs something, she doesn't actually like you. And that's really unfortunate. There are some women out there that do use men uh, like this and sometimes they don't even know what they're doing because they're oblivious or spoiled or whatever, but like you gotta pay attention and figure out if you're actually getting what you want out of the relationship. Is she only getting what she wants and she's only like, maybe just you feel like by hanging around her you're gonna get some affection? If that's the case, um, you really gotta find someone who is gonna give you the affection uh, that you want. Five, she calls you a friend. Uh, I get this all the time with guys who message me. They say, hey Lloyd, you know, we've been spending a lot of time together with this, you mean this uh, woman that I like, but she just called me a, f a great friend yesterday. Uh, that's unfortunately not a great sign, man. Uh, you know, a lot of times women call people friends when they're just not attracted to them. Uh, I rarely get called that with a girl who I'm really into. But I mean, if we've been dating for a while, obviously you want to be friends as well too. Um, but if she calls you, you're just a great friend, uh, that probably means she's not attracted to you. Now, can you turn a friend into a romantic partner? Uh, yes, but you probably gotta spend some time apart. You know, she probably sees you in that light and the only way to get away from that light is to put yourself out of that position. So I would highly recommend you go after somebody who is gonna see you in that own light. Ironically, that's actually the best way to, you know, turn her into your girlfriend. Six. She's distracted when she's hanging out with you. Uh, I don't know about you, but it's kind of annoying when you're hanging out with a woman that you like and you're looking at her and she's looking around, she's checking out other things, she's on her phone all the time. If she's not giving you her attention when she's hanging out with you, uh, chances are she probably would rather be doing something else. If she likes you, she's interested in you, she's gonna give you her full attention. Um, and I know in today's day and age, kids can be a little bit, uh, I don't know, ADHD or whatever, so they check their phones constantly, but they might still be into you. You'll still know, okay? If she, if a guy comes up and starts talking to her and she's like super happy and emotional when she's talking to him, but when she talks to you, she's very sullen and like not emotional, um, chances are she'd probably rather be talking to somebody else. So uh, I would let her go do that and you find someone that's better for you. Seven, this is a big one. She won't follow you. 
Okay, for me in my own life, I really look to see if a woman that I'm dating or is into is doing this sort of thing. Because the man to woman connection is you lead, she follows. Women do not follow men they do not like. Okay, if they like you, chances are they'll follow you. But if they don't, it probably means they're not interested in you, they don't trust you, they don't see you as a way that you can protect them, they don't see you as someone that they're comfortable around or they're attracted to, uh, they just won't do it. So for me, I, if I'm meeting a girl out or something like that, or you know, I'm, I'm talking to her for a while, uh, I'll maybe say, hey, I'm I'm gonna go sit down over there. You want to come with? And if she comes with me, that means she probably likes me, um, or you know, maybe it means she's interested to see where this goes. Okay. If she doesn't follow me, she's like, okay, no, I'm good here, or I'm here with my friends, or that's fine. Then she probably would rather be with her friends, and she's not that interested in me. So I'll go find somebody who will follow me. Eight, she avoids physical contact. If she's not touching you, if she's not comfortable in your space, it probably means she'd rather be in her own space. Now, if you're hanging around a girl for a while and you've tried to come close to her and she's backed away and she's keeping her distance from you, uh, this girl's probably not that interested in you. Now, there are some cases where women don't like to touch in public and that's okay, you know, give them their space. But if your guys are alone and she still wants to keep the space between you, she's still not drawn to you, then chances are she's probably not that interested in you. Now, this doesn't mean she's gonna jump your bones and immediately be ready to have sex with you on the first date. Uh, but what it does mean is that she will still want to be close to you, okay? Women, even if they do, are not ready for sex quite yet, they will still be drawn to the guys that they're into physically. Nine, and the last one is she talks about other guys. Now, I've seen this happen a lot with uh, people that are dating a girl that they really like, but the girl is clearly thinking about or interested in another guy that's not them. If she's talking about other guys that aren't you, probably she's thinking about them and she's probably not thinking about you, which means she probably doesn't like you that much and maybe she's using you as like uh, for, you know, to vent emotionally or something like that or just sees you as a friend um, and she just likes the attention. So if that's the case, I would highly recommend that you go for a girl who's not talking about other guys or when she does talk about guys, she's talking about you. So uh, those are the nine things. If you guys are getting these, I highly recommend that you move on or find someone who will give you these things. Remember, your time is valuable. And uh, if you see yourself as a high value guy, you shouldn't be putting women on a pedestal and you shouldn't be going after girls that don't like you. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, if you're wondering how to find women that aren't giving you these signs, or maybe if a girl is giving you these signs, uh, be able to change her into somebody who will give you the signs that you're looking for, I highly recommend that you reach out to one of my links in the description box below. I have a lot of programs that would be helpful for you. And uh, yeah, good luck out there, you guys.